Hi, welcome to Lynn's Propane Trucks. I'm Scott Swenson. We're here today to show you a new product that we've been using on some of the trucks. Uh, it's called a tank stabilization unit. And uh, I'll cut right to the chase. Uh, what does it do for me and how does it work? Well, how it works is it takes propane from your tank and it runs it through this little box right here. It's also taking hot water off your heater hose. Uh, the same water it's using to heat your cab we're just taking a little bit of that. They're running them both through here and it's heating up the propane. So essentially what's happening is you're taking the propane, vaporizing it, heating it up, and putting it right back into the tank to help stabilize the tank and the pressure in the tank. As you know, as soon as you start making deliveries, uh, within a few gallons, the pressure in your tank starts to drop because you're taking liquid propane out. What this does is help to stabilize it. And what does that in turn mean? It means more gallons per minute. If you stabilize the tank, uh, your gallons per minute isn't going to drop off like it does on a normal truck as you get into your delivery. It's going to stay right up at the top, uh, at the top of the line, gallons per minute. The same as when you started, as when you finish. You can pump the entire truck off, and you're going to be at the same gallons per minute as when you started. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to head to the back of the truck, and we're going to start pumping this truck off. Here we are at the back of the truck, and what we're going to be doing is pumping off the entire barrel here. Uh, what we are is we're at about 87, 88%. Uh, we're going to take this and we're going to pump it all off in one stop, all at once here. Uh, if you take a look over here, uh, we've got about 60 PSI in the tank, and the temperature of the propane is about 23 degrees. So I'm going to start this up and we'll start the delivery now. Same restriction, uh, same everything here. So we're trying to simulate a delivery that you would have uh, to a large commercial account. If you want to come back over here, we're up around 100 gallons here. We're still at 65 gallons a minute. We haven't lost anything. Let us use it for this movie. Uh, we want to thank him for that. 
up, but also take a look at this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we pumped uh, just about 1,200 gallons out of this truck so far. And if we want to take a look down at the gallons per minute here, we're at uh, 64. So it's still moving. Uh, it's still pumping quite a bit. Uh, we're at about 58 PSI now. Uh, so we lost a couple pounds. It's not perfect, but. Uh, We've only lost about a gallon and a half off the gallons per minute after 1,200 gallons, which is amazing. Uh, how that, how that uh, equates to you is, uh, is, two, is two things. One is the big commercial account. Obviously, when you get to your big drops, uh, you're going to save an amazing amount of time. Uh, on a normal truck, uh, if you started at 65 like we did today, and you, uh, by this time in the drop, you down to at least 48 gallons a minute, uh, maybe even more. Uh, so you're looking at 20, 25% more efficient uh, with this tank stabilization unit. And that's on the big drops, you're really going to see that, but it makes a difference on the small drops too. In the winter, you got your guys out, they may be making 30 stops, you got a hustler, he may be doing 40, 45 stops. If you're saving, uh, you know, smaller drops, you could be saving a minute or two per drop times 30 or 40 drops. So now that turns into a lot. Your guy may be coming back midday to refill, and then he's coming back at the end of the day with 25, 30% still in the tank. He's not coming back with 25, 30% anymore. He's coming back empty. Those tickets aren't rolling over to the next day. You don't have to stick them into the next morning. He's gonna be getting more stops done. So whether it's big commercial accounts, or you're literally dropping this whole tank every time, or it's just your regular road, residential, dropping one, two, three hundred gallons of stock. It doesn't matter. It's going to make a huge difference in the time, which translates to a huge difference in your pocketbook. Uh, it is so much more efficient. And not only that, you can notice how this, this pump is just humming along. It's not cavitating. It's not growling. Uh, you're saving pump life on this truck. Uh, all around, it's a win-win situation. We've been testing this for quite a few months, uh, probably about six months now. We've had it on trucks, testing it out with different orifices, really trying to work it and uh, fine-tune uh, the gallons per minute that we're getting out of it. Uh, we've got it so where you can literally pump 2,975 gallons off this 34.99, and you're only losing a gallon to two gallons a minute to the very end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish pumping this down. We'll come back at about 10% and show you that we're still up in the mid 60s with gallons per minute. We'll be back in just a few. All right, we're back now. Uh, I told you we we're gonna come back at 10%. It's 25%. Uh, the wind has picked up and quite honestly, I'm freezing. So we came back a little bit early to finish this up. Uh, we're down to 25% here. We're still, we're right around 60 PSI. Uh, temperature's about the same. We pumped off uh, 2,350 gallons, and we're at uh, 63 and a half gallons per minute. Uh, so basically, we started off bouncing between 65 and 66, and now we're at about 63 and a half, 64. So we lost two to two and a half gallons a minute after pumping off 2,375 gallons. Uh, Whereas in your normal truck, you would have already lost at least 18 gallons a minute, maybe 20, 22, 24. Uh, so this really translates into time savings for you. Time savings translates into money savings. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, we've, we've been researching this a long time now. Uh, we're ready to start putting them on, on trucks. Uh, any truck we're building, you can get it on a new truck. Uh, for about 3800 bucks, and we can also retrofit them on existing trucks. If you have any questions, you want more information, please give us a call. It's 
5467. We'll talk to you soon.